Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. It's a decision that has more than $400 million hanging in the balance. A day-long battle over the District Detroit project plays out during a Detroit City Council meeting. That $400 million in state incentives would have gone away had City Council not approved the plan by today's deadline. Good to have you with us, everybody. I'm Kimberly Gill. I'm Devin Skilly. And the hotly debated community benefits program narrowly approved here just the past 35 minutes or so. Rod Maloney live downtown with more on a, a very close vote here. Rod, a close call. Well, it was in the end, it was eight to one, Devin, but it, it took all day to get there. And in fact, it said starts and stops. They started at 10 o'clock this morning. Uh, hundreds of people lining up for and against it, wanting to let, to let council know. But council had decided that they didn't feel like there were enough commitments in terms of benefits for the city. And so Olympia Development and the Stephen Ross Group went back, wrote a resolution that wasn't enforceable. So they had to go back again and rewrite another one and include an executive order that they didn't in the first one. And so uh, this went back and forth for most of the day and they came down to a vote at about 415 when they finally decided that this is something that they wanted to do. And let's hear now from a couple of the council members and also from the Olympia development uh, folks about what they think about what was accomplished here today. This is something that I wish would have took place during the community benefits process. That's what this was supposed to happen. I think, you know, as uh, they say, a cool hand loop, there was a failure to communicate. And so as a result, now we were able to get that done. So I'm, I'm glad it got done. I thought it was worth it. I didn't want to see it happen like it happened here. There's places where you can actually have that debate and it can be a really robust debate. You know what I'm saying? I think it's great for our city, most definitely. But we have had a lot of promises without the strong guarantees and commitments for our Detroit base uh, minority contractors and businesses in this city and it's all about inclusion for me it's about equity and it's about ownership all's well that ends well um, we are pleased with the outcome we appreciate the leadership and support of city council we appreciate the leadership of the mayor's office we appreciate the uh, hard work that our NAC did for months uh, negotiating with us for the largest CVA on record and so there you have it. District Detroit, at least for this phase, is okayed by the city. There's another certification phase where the city council is going to be looking for more if they can get it. And then it's off to the state. There, this is not a done deal by any stretch. They have to go to the state and get approval there up in Lansing, and we'll see where that takes us. Uh, we'll have more coming up, by the way, on Local 4 News at 6. Reporting live downtown, Rod Malone, Local 4. Rod, we heard from over the over these last couple of weeks at uh, county, uh, or, or rather community meetings, we've heard so much anger from citizens. Citizens. Uh, did you see or hear much of that today around these meetings? Well, yes, it, and, and it has been consistent because we were here last week hearing much of right. the same thing. One of the concerns they have is that they're using money uh, that they believe is coming out of libraries and schools and being put into this, and uh, they're frustrated with that. Uh, the the uh, other side, the city, in fact, uh, is saying that's not necessarily true. And so there are a lot of things that are out there, and there was also discussion about um, that there aren't that many jobs permanently attached to this. It's mostly construction jobs. But in the end, the city council said it's good for the city, and they went with a lot of folks still not buying what Mayor Duggan told us in his State of the City address, that that was not uh, where the money was coming from and earmarked for. But more coming up from Rod here tonight at 6 o'clock.